Hi everyone, my name is Lee. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how I can deploy a WordPress site on my VPS in 10 minutes. WordPress is the most commonly used CMS on the internet. People use it for commercial sites, for personal blogs, for everything they want to. The traditional way of building a WordPress site can be intimidating sometimes. Uh, when you need to configure Apache server, MySQL, and PHP on a Linux server and connecting them together. With Docker and traffic, everything is very straightforward um, and traffic will take care of the SSL certificate for you as well. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, first of all, I will open my blog here, which has some of the configuration files. It's here. And then I will go to my VPS. All right. So as you can see, there is nothing so far, but you need to make sure you have Docker and Docker Compose install on your VPS already. I've done that already. Okay, uh, if you don't know how to do it, you can go to this blog and here are the links you can use to install Docker engine on Ubuntu, whatever Linux system you want to use and how to install Docker Compose. All right, so I will just quickly show you how I can build a website and later on, if I, we have extra time, I can explain a little bit what I was doing. Okay, so just go to traffic config here, copy here, paste, enter. Then all the files has been uh, created for you. Now I just need to fill the content to each file. So this is the first Docker Compose file. So we just go to that file and paste the information in. Now, what I'm doing now is to replace your domain to the real domain, which is tomato.monster. Okay, once that's done, we save, we go to the next file, which is which inside data folder, and its name is traffic.yml. It's the static configuration files. So we just copy this file, paste it, and we do the same thing to replace your domain to your real domain, okay? Uh, which is the model.monster. Yeah, now save it. All right, here is the last file we need to copy, which is the dynamic configurations files for traffic. Paste. There is nothing to change here. You may want to change the basic of here. Um, all right. Now, let's start it. Oh, okay. I need to create a network. Crossy. Okay. And we can run. So, this is how I start the traffic and I also assign this domain traffic.model.monster to my traffic dashboard. You will see the dashboard in a few minutes. Okay. Okay. Tomato.monster. All right. This is very common because it takes time for traffic to pull the SSL certificates from Let's Encrypt. So let's just wait for it. And now I'm going to go to this blog post for WordPress. Let me just refresh a little bit. Okay, it's done. The, the, the username is admin and the password is qwer1234. If you're copying my configuration files, you can use that username and password. Please change it when you use it on your production server, okay? So this is the um, traffic two dashboard. Looks pretty neat, right? So now I'm going to build this um, WordPress site. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a folder called WordPress. Okay, and then we go to that folder, create a file called Docker Compose .yml. All right, we just do the same thing by pasting. So copy here, click this button to copy, paste it here, and then I'm going to replace your domain to tomato dot monster which is my domain okay and now we can just run docker compose up and d it might take a while for the vps to pull all the images here so as we have some time i can walk through this um, config file with you so we, for the WordPress um, Docker Compose files, you can see I've got two services here. The first one is MariaDB, which will um, store all the database in there. And the other one is the traffic services, which is using the WordPress latest image. And um, the environment variable is just the um, a database information here. So whatever you create a database here, it need to be exactly the same database and the user and password. Um, please just try my config on the testing server for production. Please change the database name, username and password. Okay, it's very important. Okay, still pulling the uh, images. So we just wait for it to, to view. Okay. Um, and um, go back to the to this part, the label part. So for the WordPress, also you don't need to worry about the DB here because the DB is going to um, within its default network, which WordPress has access to, and traffic will not see these services. Okay, but we want traffic to see WordPress because we need traffic to do the reverse processing for us, also help us to get the SSL certificate. So the label here, first of all, I say okay, traffic. I want to enable for our WordPress site. And then I just put it in the traffic network. And then I would say there is the entry point of the HTTPS of our, of our WordPress services. And this is just assigning a, a host name to my WordPress site. That's all you need to set. The rest of the settings has been done with the traffic config files, which is the static configuration and dynamic configurations. Um, I want to talk about too much of this configuration in this video because uh, it's just uh, it takes so long to, to explain everything. If you want, you can go back to my blog to read um, a few changes here, uh, some of the labels, what does it do? And uh, if you have any questions, you can um, leave me comments and I will try my best to answer. All right, so now it's done. So we we'll just go to blog.tomato.monster All right, you can see the WordPress is now done. And if we go to the dashboard, you can see the WordPress site here. All right. Um, and as you can see here, the certificate is done automatically for us. We don't need to do anything. And uh, the beautiful thing about traffic is that it will pull the SSL certificate for you automatically and also you will renew it automatically for you. So once you have set up, you don't need to worry about SSL certificates forever, I would say. Uh, and uh, in my configuration, I also um, have the, uh, has the highest uh, security standards here. I won't say highest, but very, um, very good security here. You will get a SSL labs if you know what that is. SSL labs ratings for A plus, I think. Um, so that's so easy. I mean, the video is still nine minutes and forty cents, and we have already done our blog. Um, furthermore, we just need to continue and give a site A B C D. Let's say username admin. Copy this um, passwords. Put in some. Some details and hit install 
and um, it should just install and then we can log in with the admin the, and the password we just copy yeah that's it um, you can visit your site now um, let's visit my site yep yeah, that's your WordPress pro and then you can play with the themes with the plugins um, and yeah, yeah that's all that's all you need to do with uh, to deploy a WordPress how simple is that so um, if you want to deploy a um, WordPress, I highly suggest you to use Docker and Traffic. This is a great combination. It makes your life a lot easier. And trust me, once you have tried it, you can't really go back to the traditional way of deploying WordPress sites on any um, on, on, on Linux servers. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please leave a uh, comment below. And I understand that um, deploying of, of WordPress seems really easy in my video it is quite easy as long as you understand all the labels and configurations um, which would take much more time to to read and understand of course but if you if, if you don't want to read anything just want to build your site straight uh, build your site directly you can just copy my configurations and um, just remember to change the username password for a dashboard and your database. You are good to go. Yeah, you can see it's A plus for SSL labs. All right. So that's all for today. If you have any questions, please leave comment for me. Thank you and see you next time.